Most of them high based well above the Earth's surface and indeed most of them not producing any rain. Just a few little sprinkles here and there. Right now on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler, no sign of any rain whatsoever and I think you can safely go out tonight without worrying about rain. Earlier there's those couple sprinkles that moved across the area from Tuscaloosa to about Birmingham and pretty much fell apart during the later afternoon. It did keep it cooler today. The clouds kept temperatures from rising all that much. 59 in the Magic City, 61 in Tuscaloosa, 57 in Coleman and even 60 at uh, uh, Aniston at this point, 59 in Alabaster. The clouds kept the temperatures from rising much today. They'll also prevent it from falling very quickly tonight, but still doesn't have that far to go to get down into the 40s, so it will still be pretty chilly outside. 56 at 7 o'clock, 52 at 10, then into the 40s by 4 and 7 a.m. Most of us having lows tonight somewhere near 45 or so. A bit chillier across the northwest where the clouds are a lot thinner. Now to our west where there was more sunshine today, like in Dallas at 76, San Antonio 80, it is warmer and that bodes well for us to see an increase in temperatures tomorrow and Wednesday with sunshine coming back into the forecast. I think tomorrow we'll get close to 70, may not quite get there, but we'll be close then up into the low and mid 70s come uh, Wednesday afternoon. Big football game coming up on Saturday, of course. Everybody's talking about it. Number one, LSU and number two, Alabama, and it's going to be perfect football weather. With games like this, you really hope the weather is not a factor, and it won't be. Skies overhead will be brilliantly sunny and then turn just clear as we go past sunset. 58 degrees at kickoff, falling down to about 49. So, yes, a little bit on the chilly side, but certainly great football weather. Good for UAB as well, traveling to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to play the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. 59 at kickoff, falling down to about 54 degrees. For us, we'll see as we get into tomorrow afternoon, a fair amount of sunshine after some morning clouds. It basically stays pretty sunny much of Wednesday before it clouds up later in the day. Then things start to change. A cold front gets here. That'll produce some showers during the day on Thursday. Probably the most significant rain coming Thursday night. And behind it, dry and chillier Friday and over the weekend too. Seven day forecast looking like this. Tomorrow after some morning clouds, it turns sunnier and it turns a bit warmer. High 70, warmer yet on Wednesday at 73. Rain moves in on Thursday, continues at night. Most of it should be out of here Friday, but it will turn colder on Friday. The weekend looks dry and pretty sunny. Some cold nights in the 30s. Daytime highs in the upper 50s Saturday, lower 60s by the time we get to Sunday. Over to Ian and Brittany.